Welcome back, my nerdy friends. I have got another project for you today. This is going to be another very easy, simple one that anybody can do and very cost efficient as well. So this wood plaque, I actually have a whole stack of these lying around. Uh, I got these from my dad a while back, but I know you can pick up these plaques, not too expensive, I don't think, at any craft store. And even I think um, the Dollar Tree does sell these as well. So um, maybe not this thick or whatever, but they do have them. Now, I don't know what they have now. I haven't been there in a hot minute, but that's okay. So as you can see here, as I'm rambling, I am just painting this with Waverly's plaster paint. And uh, I'm basically just gonna go ahead and give this a quick coat. And once it's all said and done, I will sand it down a little bit just to clean up the edges. And I do want to just take this time to say, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Again, my name is Liz. I am the official craft nerd, and I absolutely love taking the time to create some shabby chic, yummy goodness uh, decor pieces. i uh, been off for quite a while, but I am back at it trying to get you guys some new projects that you can replicate for yourself. Uh, for your own home. So again, if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, friends, thank you so much. I have missed you. If you haven't noticed from my last video, I was just absolutely thrilled to be back at it. And yeah, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Now these stickers I am kind of obsessed with. They are gorgeous beautiful vintage stamp replicas and they have these beautiful uh, high society women um, young girls I, I don't I don't know how to explain it other than you can see me just kind of flipping through these picking them out they're very much like old photo um, old photos but they have placed them as a stamp and these some of them are kind of opaque some of them are um, kind of see-through-ish uh, you know they they're all made on I believe it's like a vellum type sticker and that's the great thing about them these are stickers so I picked these up on Amazon I do believe these are linked um, in my Amazon store which the link is listed in my description box so I know I've had some questions on how to get to that uh, but if you just take a look in the description box below uh, there is a link there that should take you to my Amazon shop. So, uh, in any case, like I said, these are stickers and these are gorgeous. And I absolutely love the fact that they're stickers. It makes the job so much easier. Uh, but I am literally just going to kind of do a collage situation with all of these uh, sticker stamps. And there's not going to be any rhyme or reason. We are just going to start placing them over each other, however you like, but again, just have fun with it. And of course, if this type of, you know, these photos or whatever are just not your style, you can do this with pretty much anything, you guys. And people, I think, tend to forget that you can be crafty using stickers. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I think if you say stickers, people just automatically assume it's going to be something very bright and glittery or, you know, that doesn't have anything to do with their style. But if you look hard enough, you can find something. And I was blown away when I found these. And I said, this is perfect for anybody that's into vintage 
or shabby chic or you know just anything that has this age and this I don't know just this beautiful beautiful uh, era about it like I just I love it I love it I'm just gonna stop rambling and you guys can watch me finish up putting these stickers on So once I have them all placed, now mind you, as you can tell, there were some that have edges hanging off. I'm not worried about that. I am taking some Mod Podge and I am going to put a sealant over top of my stickers. I only need to do a quick one coat of this. And again, because I am as impatient as all get out, I am going to hit with my um, heat gun and dry this up a little bit quicker. So you can just let it sit for a few hours. It'll completely dry on its own, of course. Uh, but I just, yeah, I don't like to do that. So what I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to take this nail file. Now I'm going to put this nail file through it. <laughs> and in fact, I do break it. But I like using nail files for smaller projects when it comes to cleaning up edges. So you can use your sanding block, you know, that's, you know, if you can, or just some sandpaper. Uh, but for me, a nail file actually works really well to sit there and just go over those edges. And what it does, it is going to smoothly cut off basically that hanging piece of paper that we just don't want on this project. So that's what I'm going to do here. Just go around the edges of anything that might have a little bit left over and I'm going to sand it off using my nail file. Okay, so once the top is dry and everything is good, I am digging out some large wooden beads and we are going to slap some paint on these guys. I am not concerned with this being perfect. This was actually such a little messy, <laughs> messy part for me that I was just like, I don't even care. I just get some paint on there. You know, these inevitably are going to be feet. If you haven't kind of figured out where I was going with this project yet, uh, these are just going to be little feet. So they're underneath. Nobody's really going to pay attention to them. So it does not need to be perfect, y'all. Okay, so before I put my little feet on, I'm going to take some of this rope and we are going to put this around the top of this plaque. Now, I know I haven't said exactly what this whole project was going to be, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably already figured it out, but I wanted this to be kind of a trinket tray slash jewelry tray, something that I can just throw the little things from my pocket or take my rings off or my jewelry off and put it on if it was in the bathroom so I don't forget about it. So the rope itself is just going to go around the top outer edges of this plaque 
and it's going to help hold things in. You could have just left it alone and put your stuff on there, but I wanted something to help catch things. So that way my rings don't fall off or my necklace or whatever it is that I may throw on there. It'll stay and not move. And yeah, you get the point, you guys. So the rope, of course, I got from Dollar Tree. It is something I've had in my craft stash for years. They always have it. I'm assuming they still have it. Again, I have not been. <laughs> I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in, oh, I won't say a year. I want to say it's probably been like at least six months. It has been that long, you guys. I just, I, I, I fell out of getting into the Dollar Tree crafting phase that I was in for a while, which is fine. Um, and I just haven't gone back and, you know, maybe I'll go again eventually, but yeah, I'm using what I got y'all. And I had so much that I gave so much away. <laughs> so in any case, the whole point of me blabbing about that is just to say, use what you have, you guys. I, there's no point in me going out and buying new stuff when I have so much already just lying around. So I'm just going to use what I got until it runs out and then I'll go back. I think that's the smart way to do it, right? <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? In any case, once that's all said and done, and I don't show you my finagling with the hot glue to get that kind of laid flat on those edges, but you know, just take your time and kind of mold it down and it'll work how you need it to. Um, flipping this over, now I'm going to glue my feet on. If this is something that you're going to want super permanent, it, you know that it might get knocked around a bit. You may want to put something sturdier than just hot glue and use maybe some E6000 um, for the sake of doing the video. I didn't, I'm just using the hot glue. So easy peasy, make some quick, easy little feedies for this project. And really that's all there is to it, you guys. So again, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching this very quick, easy trinket jewelry tray dish whatever you want to call it in all its shabby chic glory and uh, definitely drop me a comment below hit that like button let's get me back in the algorithm you guys i definitely need to get back out there thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this you guys and until next time stay safe love y'all bye